Uh, Charles? Yes, that's a good question. So if it has to be somewhere, Eastfield Mall is closed down. That would probably be a good place to have the courthouse. Take it from downtown. When you go in the downtown courthouse, you see lines and lines of people. Um, it's not easy accessible. So, or where they're just tore down the parking lot. That would be another great opportunity to put the courthouse there. So it should remain in Springfield, but we have viable places to place the courthouse where it can remain in Springfield. We just have to have the mindset to sit down, have the conversation, and see where we would like the courthouse to be along with community input. I'd like to know from the candidates, how do you plan to get residents more engaged in local government? Well, the first thing I would do is um, go to the civic organizations and get the people involved. A lot of times, people have a lot of apathy. And so as a city council person, what I would do is do like I do when I want to get elected. I do a lot of door knocking. I do a lot of going through neighborhoods. But it seems as though after we get elected, we forget about those things. We stop door knocking. We stop engaging in communities. We stop doing those things. So if I'm elected to city council, what I plan on doing is using, I'm working on a show with Focus TV called Dare to Speak the Truth. I will use Focus TV and that platform to speak to the community residents. I will also go out door knocking as I've been doing. I will also be highly involved with getting the community consciousness to be aware. A lot of things that are going on in families' lives, this is why they support us, this is why they vote for us, and this is why we serve the community of Springfield to get out, to do the job for them. Thank you. What strategies will you pursue to make housing more affordable for the residents of our city considering the rising cost of living in our city? Well, the first thing I would do is I would look at places like Springfield Gardens. 80 to 90 percent of the Springfield Gardens homes are evacuated. On 659 State Street, Springfield, Mass, there are abandoned buildings. If I'm elected to city council, I would try to work with the other city councils to take those buildings into receivership. And then once we take those buildings into receivership, we will have community residents to work on those buildings. We have local contractors in our community that are cut out because of the Wynn brothers, the Fontaine brothers, and the rest of them are re e eating up all the economic resources. So we take those buildings into receivership. We get local men and women from our community to fix those buildings up, and then we put those people in the building. We don't have to give out more money to build buildings but we have vacant buildings all over the city of Springfield that they can be taken into receivership. Just like if a family member loses their home, the city is quick to take their homes in receivership, auction them off, and sell them. So we can do that right now. How can the city better address its food deserts and increase accessibility to healthy and affordable food options? Yeah, yes, I think that's a very important question because as soon as um, properties come open here in the city of Springfield. We don't need no more dollar stores, no more family dollar, no more dollar generals, no more Popeye chickens in the urban community. Mm -hmm. So we need, we, need rest, we need supermarkets that are gonna have seeds in the watermelons. We're gonna have to have organic foods in our community. And one of the things that we need to do, if I'm elected to the city council is, have a meeting with the other city council members and let us figure out what we can do to make it better. One of the things that we must remember is we come from the home of the New England Patriots, even though I'm a Giant fan. And Bill Belichick always says, you gotta get the job done. So as city council people, we need to come together, look at the budget, look at the community and where we need to put these issues at. So when Dominic Sarno gives us his budget, we just don't vote yes. We vote that we need to have the resources in place. Thank you. Earlier this evening, uh, I'd asked a question about related to the workforce, but I, I wanted to ask it a little bit differently this time. Uh, many people that work for the city are residents, so I'm curious uh, if in your encounters, either as an incumbent counselor or as a candidate for office, what kind of conversations you've had with people who actually work for the city, um, and what can we do better to be a place that people want to work at? Well, the first thing, um, I've talked to community members 
who are not working in this city who look like me. And so we have a monitoring ordinance here in the city of Springfield that all contracts and contractors giving out jobs in the city of Springfield must have a required amount of African Americans, Africans, Latinos, and others. If you look at all of the job sites here in the city of Springfield, most of them are given out to people who don't look like us. So first of all, we have to begin to make sure that those people who are getting the contract are refilling the requirements. Are they hiring people who look like me on those jobs? Are they writing it out and putting it into the monitoring committee? And if, are they living up to those expectations? And so oftentimes people who are working on these jobs, they don't look like us. Most of the people that are working on these jobs don't live in Springfield. They live in Palmer, they live in Ludlow and other places. So we need to be able to create healthier communities that will stop gun violence by hiring people who look like me. I'd like to know, what are some positive attributes of the city that you would want to help continue to improve if elected as the next city council? Yes, one of the things that I love is uh, Gomercindo Gomez is a Vietnam veteran. And I'm a 100% disabled veteran. And what I would like to see is for more veterans to have access to housing here in the city of Springfield. A lot of veterans are suffering from mental health issues. A lot of veterans are suffering from dual diagnoses. A lot of the veterans you see on the street are homeless um, because we don't have a lot of access for disabled veterans and homeless veterans. So I would like to work with an organization like the Bilingual Organization and Gomez Sendo Gomez who helped me out when I first got here to bring more resources for uh, disabled veterans, more homes for disabled veterans, and a better opportunity for veterans who are suffering here in the city of Springfield. That's one of the great programs we have here in the city, and I would like to help them to do more. What are your plans to enhance safety in the city? Name one thing that you will do to address the concerns about crime and security. Well, the first thing I would do if I'm elected to city council is establish a conflict resolution coalition committee. Right now what I'm doing is I'm meeting myself and um, the African Diaspora Mental Health Association. We're meeting with people in the streets who are shooting guns and selling drugs. The first thing I want to do is establish a peace treaty here in the city of Springfield. What you hear all these stakeholders and politicians talking about, what they're doing for gun violence, it is a lie. If you're not talking to the shooters, if you're not talking to the drug dealers, if you're not trying to create a healthier community, I'm here to let you know, gun violence will continue. Voting for Charles Stokes, I will work hard to decrease gun violence by working with the people in the community who are absolutely engaged in what we have going on as far as gun violence is concerned. Thank you.